what have you seen just this season program nearly coming to an end? Uh, just what's your the, the takeaway from, from being here for the past nine, 10 weeks and, and how you've seen things grow? Yeah, I think um, you know, everyone's been, uh, you know, locked in, uh, focused on, you know, getting as much uh, information and grasping as much of what the coaches want us to do out there. Um, you know, we all know that, you know, it's coming coming to an end and, you know, we're going to have a long break. Um, so the coaches are really just giving us a lot um, of game-like situations, game-type things in practice. Uh, just so we'd be a little bit ahead uh, when we come back for training camp. But, you know, all in all, I think it's been going well. Uh, guys have been competing as much as we could, we can with our pads on. Uh, but uh, I think we've uh, made, managed to make it this far without uh, significant injuries uh, to anyone. So I always think that's a great thing. Um, and just looking forward to uh, starting mini camp today. Allow the players to play fast. Do you see that happening at this point? Have you guys uh, absorbed enough of the defense that you're starting to play the way you're, you know, they, they want you to play on, on game days? Yeah, um, you know, we do a, you know, a tally up of, you know, what plays defense defense one and what plays offense one, and on every play that the defense wins, uh, you can see that the the guys are getting more comfortable with. Just understanding the whole scheme of things and being able to use their athletic ability, you know, to break on balls, um, understand where balls are supposed to go in certain calls, and uh, that's what you want. Just guys really understanding it and, and being as comfortable as possible, um, you know, when it comes with you know putting your shoulder pads on and things like that, because you know you can't think out there when, when you have your equipment on. You got to be uh, on point and know exactly what's going on. during your career. Are you looking forward to having him on your side? I am. I've uh, I've seen Elvis play uh, for a while, you know, and uh, you know you just see a leader in him, you know, a guy that understands the games. He's been in the league, you know, a while now, and uh, you know he's excited to, to be here and play with me, and and likewise, it's always good to you know have a veteran uh, with uh, a mindset of understanding what it takes to be good in the NFL, and uh, we're glad to have him. Talk to him before he signed or after he signed? I just talked to him. It's yeah. the first time. First time today, yeah. Uh, how good you feel? How much management do you have to do after practice, maybe compared to what you used to do? None. Um, you know, I'm really, you know, just doing what everyone else is doing, taking care of the body after practice, ice tub, little things like that. But the, uh, the training staff, they're always on point uh, with asking me if I need anything. And uh, I tell them I feel great. Um, it's not anything that's uh, significant that uh, I feel like I need to you know, really do a, a certain thing, but you know, it's uh, it's all in the work I did down the road, man. It's um, it's definitely paying off. For the last um, two years, in particular, since Patrick and Justin and those guys around, you are clearly the leader of the defense. What, if anything, have you learned about being a leader? Or do you think you've improved as a leader in the last two, three years? Well, uh, I can't drop a ball in practice because everyone's, you know expecting me to catch it and, and on me as soon as I drop it. So uh, that's one thing. I mean, the, the, the eyes are on me and, uh, you know, guys is really, you know, rooting for me to do well on top of me being a leader and, and being able to get guys going and, and um, really just zeroing in on, you know, what type of identity we want to have, not just as a defense, but as a team also. And, um, you know, Kyle's done a great job with, you know, being up front, being honest of exactly uh, what he wants, and uh, it's my job to reiterate that and, and and make sure everyone gets it. So I think the uh, the formula is, is great here, and uh, you know we're excited about the year that's coming up. What was your reaction to the basketball game last night? And have you reached out to Kevin since? Uh... Yeah, I uh, I watched it, man. It's uh it's just uh you know a great thing to see. You know you you've watched a guy, you know, just get through what we've get, gotten through, um, you know, our entire life and, you know, just to understand exactly where he came from, um, you know, it just says a lot, you know, how hard he's worked, you know, nothing's given, you know, to anyone, but, you know, especially, um, you know, on, on the side that we've, we've come from, um, you know, just to, to see the joy in his mom's eyes, uh, you know, I remember just, you know, going to the house and seeing his mom, you know, get home from work and, you know, just, 
putting those hours and those those uh, you know long times with her son, uh, just to see the rejoice of her, uh, see her son be able to, to reach the pinnacle that he's been working so hard for uh, his his entire life, man. Uh, but you know, one thing I know about him, you know, he, he'll he'll never get complacent with it. You know, he'll 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 always try to keep getting better uh, and go back after it and try to get another one. What do you make of all the chatter surrounding his decision to leave Oklahoma City and come here to play? Uh, that's just nonsense. I mean, I feel like that's life. You always want to get better, uh, go in the best situation possible to reach you know your ultimate goal. I feel like everyone does that. Uh, throughout life, um, you know we're we're athletic um, athletes, I should say, and you know the uh, the spotlight's on us, and you guys just not you guys, but uh, people that's talking like that, they just want something to talk about, and that was just a easy cop out. Um, and he he did a great job with just ignoring it, uh, trusting his choice, and uh, living up to uh, what everyone said he better did, and he did it. You uh, shoot him two more guys? Were you there? No, I wasn't. I had a prior engagement. Shoot him a tech training? I did. I did. He didn't get back to me yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that, what was basically the crux of the text? Uh, just, you know, you deserve it. Uh, you know, congratulations to you and your family. Uh, you know, because I know the sacrifices that they made also uh, with helping him, you know, get to the point that he is. And uh, he'll definitely appreciate, uh, you know, that and, and show them. But uh, I told him just go party, you know, enjoy it. Let's try to get another one. You, you kind of try to envision yourself in, in his shoes someday winning that championship? I did it last night, actually. Yeah. Uh, you know, I started, you know, I pulled out my playbook, you know, just, uh, you know, made me want to want to go after uh, winning my first ring even harder. And uh, it was the same thing with him making it to the NBA. You know, basketball, you only have to do a year in college. In football, you got to do at least three. You know, and he motivated me to get to this point, and uh, he definitely motivated me last night. Does it feel different in your position now with Eric Reed where they are? Uh, no, but you can, you know, you can see the growth uh, that those two are, you know, are, are having right now. I mean, you know, Eric's definitely, uh, you know, more comfortable, uh, you know, being back there. He has a leadership role also, um, you know, and uh, you know, we trust each other. We've been on the field a lot, um, and uh, we know what Jimmy does, and you know, just to see him. You know, accepting the role that the coaches are asking him to to play this year. Um, you know, that's what you want in an athlete. You know, no matter where, you know, you get put, uh, it's just attack it the best you can, and uh, go out there and do uh, what you can uh, to be the best. Uh, we're, we're, Last one. Where's the qualities that have struck you about Salah? Salah. Uh, he's a he's a he's a great teacher. You know, I think. You know, for the little bit of time that he has uh, throughout the day for the defense, um, for us to be as, be as far as long uh, as we are right now, um, you know, it goes to him and his staff that he's put together. Um, you know, I've been around a lot of coaches uh, where they want it done. And if you don't get it done, it's uh, a thunderstorm, you know. But, you know, he understands that we're all learning, uh, trying to get on the same page. And he's allowing guys to, to, to use their ability more than you know, him drawing it up and, and trying to make us do some things that we're not comfortable with. Um, and I think that's what defense is, uh, being able to react fast, think fast, and uh, make the plays that you know you can.